Hi, I'm Dan from Mia Culpa Hobbies. Today I'm here to talk to you about the new Primera Space Marine from McFarlane Toys, how to take it apart, and probably more importantly, how to put it back together. As with all things GW, of course, we need a blue ultramarine version to start with, so that we all know how it should be painted. He does look good, but I'm not particularly interested in him. What I want is something to make my own, something I can be proud of, something more interesting. Here he is, lovely and grey at the moment. Um, as you can see, well, he's a little bit different, but let's get rid of this ultra marine and uh, see what we can find inside the box. Starting, he looks lovely, there's lots of 40k gribbly bits on the side, nice portrait on this side, and on the back we see, no, no thank you, no Xenos in my army. Um, but let's crack her open and see what's inside. Once out of his box, you'll find he's currently in three separate pieces. This, this gun is always very difficult to take out of the box. But once we pull the main carcass from its frame, he stands here tall and proud. Very good at standing with that, those massive feet. Here he is next to his blue smurf flavoured brother. You can see there are slight differences in the sculpts. Not only the weapons, but also there's a skull on the forehead of our ultramarine and a shield on the pauldron that aren't represented on our grey one. Now obviously it'd be pretty boring to keep him grey forever, so my plan is to paint him up like this. This is a Primaris Ancient from my Penitent Sons force. They're sort of my own invention, but you can see they're largely based on the Thousand Suns iconography and colour scheme from the Horus Heresy. There's a few changes I've made, but I love them. So here is how I'm going to take apart this larger grey figure and get him primed and ready. Now obviously the first thing to do is put this nice stand to one side. Pop off the backpack if you've already attached it. Let's take his gun and pop it safely to one side as well. Here he stands. He looks good, doesn't he? Already. But the first thing to do is grab hold of these pauldrons and they, they pop off very easily. Here you go. Pop off another. There you go. Pop those to one side. And then, if we feel where this joint is here, what we can do is grab hold of the arm firmly ooh, and uh, pull it apart. You see there, the arm actually is popped into two sections. This does happen. I've um, done a couple of these now and this does happen, but you should be able to just apply some force here and quite a lot of force I must say in these two parts of the arm will pop back together. Do the same on the second. You can see here, popped off quite easily here. On this one at least. Now here is where things get tricky. This line here and these two lines here are each where you'll find different joints. You can choose to pull him apart above the belt or you can choose to pop his legs off like I'm doing here. I'd recommend this, as it's actually a lot easier to take them off, you don't need quite so much force, you can see it's actually still quite difficult, but pulling them apart at the waist is a tough job. Here his, um, his torso separates from, well I guess his pants, and his belt. Um, when the first time you do this you'll see that this belt is actually just glued on here, you can pull it off quite easily, and there's a little notch just here on the belt, or here on the pants, and here on the belt. That'll help you line it back up when you put him back together. But here he is, in his constituent parts. Separated and, well, he looks like he was just hit by a frag grenade, doesn't he, really? Now, as you saw, taking him apart is quite easy, but let's guide you through putting him back together. So, first of all, we start with his underwear, or pants, as, as I like to think of them. You can see here, on his bottom of his torso, this joint has a sort of hammerhead shape that's going to slot in between these two parts here. You need to line them up. Make double sure that you've got them on. I notice there that I've got his bum on the front. So let's swap them around and just push it in. You see it slots in there quite easily. And here I've just noticed that I forgot to put his belt on before his pants, which is a lesson for life, really. So let's take those pants back off, pop on his belt, then his underpants, making sure his bum is at the back. Another easy life lesson for us all. Um, once they're on, we're ready to reattach the legs and this is the really difficult part actually here this is where you're going to struggle and what you might need to do is go grab a pair of 
pliers or tweezers, something, uh, even a pencil will do. And just make sure this joint is tilted all the way up to the top. So you can see it here. And then you can line it up. Make sure you're getting the right leg on the right side. Or left leg on left side, as it may be. Line them up. This may take a few times. Make sure your pants are in the right position, as always. If I can stress that for all activities in life. We're going to line up these joints as best we can and apply a lot of force. You can see here I'm using one finger to hold onto the joint from the opposite side where the, the next leg will go. And I'm pushing as hard as I can. It's probably going to take you a few tries. And one tip I would actually suggest is try putting the leg on backwards so his toes are facing behind him. You can always rotate it later, but I find the actual cut and shape of this plastic makes it much easier if you try and do it backwards. Now here we go with the second leg. I'm going to use my tweezers again to, to pull this joint right up to the top so it's pointing up to the sky. And then this one's going to be even more difficult than first. Once again, make sure that leg is facing the wrong way around. Line it up as best we can. We may need to adjust. Make sure is make sure those pants are back in that that hammerhead shape, shape joint again. They can slip loose and push as hard as you can. And Bob's your uncle, as they say. There he is. And that's the hard part done. You can see why you would not want to do a full paint job before reassembly. Just do your base colours, and at most, first highlights. Now these arms, they're easy. You can just apply a bit of pressure, nowhere near as much needed as for the legs, and they pop back in. Make sure you get them on the right side again. Pauldrons again, just line up that ball joint, the little, little notch inside the pauldron, a little bit of pressure, and they pop on very easily. After doing the legs, all of this is going to seem really simple. And there you go, there's the second one. Not quite right, so just a little bit of adjustment. Try it again. And pop, on it goes. Here he is, look, he's happy to be back in one piece. He'll even give YouTube a little wave, hey! Ready for display. Oh, and of course, Let's not forget that iconic backpack. Little push, and that's straight back on. Phew! Glad that's finished. And there you go. See, it wasn't that difficult after all, was it? It's very easy to take apart, more difficult to put back together, and I think that's something we all need to remember when doing one of these. Don't spend weeks and weeks painting this up to a perfect standard before putting it back together because all the handling and pressure you're going to be applying to each one of those pieces is probably going to rub off a lot of the hard work you've put into it. So, just do your base coats, your shading, maybe your first highlights, maybe extra details in places that are going to be hidden, like behind the belt, before reassembling. And then when you've got it back together, you can find your perfect pose and paint into the, that perfect golden demon standard that we're all hoping for. So, thanks for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this and found this useful. If you have, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do end up painting one of these in whatever chapter you prefer, please do send me some photos. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, and I am on Instagram. So, hopefully see you guys next time. Goodbye.